So then we continue with part four. We are going to obtain a set of the templates. So to do that, you're simply going to click on this link. So the, the template is right here. So I'm going to just right click and open in a new tab. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and also feel free to like and share this video. And I've opened the templates. And also if you skip the first two or the first three lessons, please go back. So this template is free, so simply click on free download, it takes you down here, click on this free download, and it downloads as a zip file, as you can see right here. Okay, so I'm going to simply minimize this page and then go to my downloads folder just to check that it downloaded. So if I go to my download, you can see nice admin. So I'm going to just right click and say extract files and it extracts the content of the file. So now I need you to pay attention to how I'm going to use this template to set up my, my application. Meanwhile, if I open the, the templates, if I open it, uh, open nice admin, you can see all the files if you open it at this point. Now it's in my local system and that is fine. And you can see everything is right here. So you can see Jennifer Smith, you can see all this is working fine. We are going to adjust all this. So for now, we are going to add this template to our application. I'm going to show you how to do that. So simply uh, drag this at this point. So you want to keep the two windows open because we're actually going to be using drag and drop. All right, so first, you are going to put in all the web pages have to be inside the templates folder all right so in the template folder of your application drag all the web pages and just drop it right there in the templates folder and that is fine copy files is okay and then every other thing that is left here has to be dragged into the static folder so all this all this um all these other ones right here all these other folders, they are going to drag it right into the static folder. So I'm going to simply drag and drop it right here into the static folder. I'm going to say copy files and folders and that is fine. Everything should be fine, but uh, we are not done yet. So it says um, add the application controller file and write the method that serves the index page. So for us to be able to view the index page, the index page we opened right now, uh, we are going to add an application uh, controller file, right? So I'm going to just click on this place. I normally like to place the application controller file uh, outside all these other packages I created. So place it inside the same uh, location as the fleet app, fleet app application the Java file. So let me just say new, new class. I'm going to call it application controller. So application controller, uh, application controller, and that is fine. So once you create a controller file, you need to annotate it with the at controller annotation. So at this, it opens up. I'm going to simply annotate it with the at controller annotation uh, controller. Notation, save everything. All right, so I'm going to now write a method to return the home page. So I'm going to simply say public, public string go home. Let's just call it go home. You can use any name, but it's better you use exactly what I'm using so that you don't have any, any issues. So I'm going to say return index so basically when you say return index time leave is going to kick into place and return the index.html file okay time leave is going to check for index.html file inside the template folder remember we place everything here so you have the index.html file right here in the template folder and now i'm going to put an annotation here that says uh to get mapping so we want to, if we, if we go to slash index, uh, slash index should take us to the index of HTML page. Okay, so I'm going to save everything and I'm going to run this file at this point. So if we want, if we go to slash index, we want to get to the index of HTML page. So I'm going to simply right click and then say run as, run as Spring Boot app. Okay.
So you can see it started running at port 8080. So let's go to assess port 8080 and go to slash index. So let's go to HTTP localhost at port 8080 and we go to slash index and let's see. So you can see that it goes to the index page. It gives us exactly the index page. So the application is actually running at this point and we've set up our template and that is really good. So the next thing we want to do is we are going to adjust all of these. We are going to modify this to fit a fleet or vehicle management system. And now we are ready for the next part. We are going to now do we are now going to do the object-oriented design of this application. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe uh, to my to my my channel and also uh, like and share this video if it has been informative for you.